Hello, I'm here in Eindhoven, Netherlands, and it's a city in the southern part of the Netherlands. Uh, there's a famous artist named Vincent van Gogh, perhaps you've heard of him. Uh, he created some of his greatest paintings here, and that's one of the things that Eindhoven is uh, famous for. So I ask you, what do you get when you put van Gogh and bikes together? you get a psychopath. No, not a psychopath like uh, uh, uh. But rather, a psychopath. An architect thought it'd be cool to make a psychopath in honor of Vincent van Gogh. Specifically, uh, the Starry Night painting. In honor of that, he created this psychopath. And it's something I've always wanted to see since I've learned of it. And today I'm gonna go see it. But before we can do that, we got to get a bike. So let's get a bike and go check out the cycle path. It's a beautiful day in Eindhoven, but before I can ride, I need to check out my wheels. Disc brakes, custom headlight, chain guard, nice fender with the number on the back, plush seat, stainless steel brake, this baby's gonna be nice. Uh, what the hell is this? This looks like a bike my niece would have ridden when she was 12 years old. Dutch bikes are distinctly different from American standards. I found it a bit nerdy for my taste, but it definitely rode nicely. So I hit the streets on a bike that looked like it was made for a 12 year old. But hey, when in Rome, do you like the Romans? On the fringe of the city, I admired the urban art that lined the walls of the bicycle path. After riding for 30 minutes, I arrived at the Van Gogh cycle path. You'll know that you're there when you see the sign made in the likeness of the Starry Night painting. Without delay, I sat out on my bike to take in this attraction that brought me halfway around the world to experience. The bike path is just outside the city. It didn't take long for me to realize that something was missing. If this bike path was inspired by the Starry Night painting, where the hell were the stars? Oh yeah, that's the problem. It has to be night before it can be starry. After a couple hours, the bike path sign came alive as it began to illuminate. However, there was still nothing happening on the path because it simply wasn't dark enough. Tired of waiting, I decided to hit the road and ride around the neighborhood while I waited for things to light up. If you want to experience the bike path, you need to come out late, well after the sun has set. The neighborhood had a peaceful and tranquilness about it as I rode through it. Finally, after waiting three or four hours, it became dark enough to experience the magic and you're about to see exactly what I'm talking about. So without further ado, I present to you the Van Gogh Psychopath.